There are new questions tonight about Barack Obama's history with a 60s radical and arguably a terrorist who has never been shy about his feelings about America. Chief White House correspondent Brett Baer is live back at America's election headquarters with details. Brett? Hey, Brett, the relationship between Barack Obama and 1960s radical William Ayers is back on the campaign trail with dueling TV ads and now a new document search in Chicago. Ayers is a founder of the Weather Underground organization. Now, back in the 60s, opposed the Vietnam War, was responsible for several bombings, including one at the Pentagon and one at the Capitol. In 2001, Ayers was pictured in Chicago Magazine stomping on an American flag, and in an article in the New York Times that year, he was quoted as saying, Saying that he didn't regret setting the bombs and quote I feel we didn't do enough Ayers won't talk about his relationship with Obama but the Democratic candidate was asked about it during the primary this spring this is a guy who lives in my neighborhood who's a uh, professor of English in Chicago uh, who I know and who I have not uh, received some official endorsement from. He's not somebody who I exchange ideas from on a regular basis. Obama served on at least three panels with Ayers, including one called the Chicago Annenberg Challenge, a school reform group founded by Ayers. The group's board was chaired for a while by Obama. Today, the University of Illinois Chicago Library released 140 boxes of documents from that group. Reporters from every network scoured through them, finding memos showing Ayers and Obama at the same board, board meetings uh, in the mid to late 90s, suggesting at least some interaction between the two during that time. 